the application. Hi everyone, and welcome to a lesson by YourTechVision.com. Dr. Denise M. Robinson here to hopefully walk you through the new update to Firefox, which will not make your machine very happy when it's first installed. It will automatically update for you unless you turn off the update. However, you will have a huge security risk if you do not update. So here are the fixes. I'm going to just start the Windows three. 3, install a older version of Firefox Vertical Bar Firefox Help. Okay, if it's uh, like in the middle of the week and you just don't have time to go ahead and uh, do the update, you can go to support.mozilla.org um, or just do a Google search on install older version of Firefox. Bring up your links and then go ahead and just go to the older version just for a temporary fix. Um, so that is the page I'm showing right now uh, because I really didn't want to do this right in the middle of my week and I do know that um, we need options so that's that's one and then on the weekend you just need to do the update and this is what we need to do which you need to Alt -tab. install a older version of Firefox vertical bar fire control to switch to Firefox extended to, uh, the extension and once again this is uh, if you do an alt D support .org. Uh, or just do a Google search for switch to Firefox extended support release, okay? And uh, you're going to bring up your links and you're going to go to the Firefox ESR download page. So I'm going to do that. Links list dialog. TGT, the Firefox ESR download page. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Tab panel, main region, article region, the Firefox ESR. And just so you know, I am using Windows N desktop folder view list view, JAWS 2018. Version for you, those of you who are cited, you can actually see the difference between JAWS 2018 and JAWS 18. The fins look totally different. So if you have not updated to the latest JAWS, go to freedomscientific.com and update to the latest JAWS. Um, but once again, if you go ahead and roll back to your old Firefox, use your JAWS uh, 18. But I am using JAWS 2018 on this. Uh, it also works great with Edge, and I will do another lesson on that. So we'll Alt -tab. Firefox back. extended support release for your organization. Fit. Okay, so then you need to go to download Mozilla Firefox ESR. So insert F7. Link list dialog. Link D. Download Mozilla Firefox ESR. Okay. And I've already uh, done this, and so Enter. Mozilla Firefox Web Browser M dash download Firefox extended support. Okay, so then it's going to pull up a page, download Firefox extended. You need to pick your language. So I just do a JAWS find dialog. E F E N L I S H English. Enter English left parent British right parent English left parent British right parent. Uh, I don't want British, so I'm just going to go ahead and this is a table, so Control Alt down arrow. English left parent South African right parent English left parent South either. African right so parent. Row twenty. English left parent U.S. right parent English left yep. parent U.S. right parent. Row twenty six. And now I like to just down arrow. I am a big believer in hitting every single pixel along my page, especially if it's a new page. So I'm going to down arrow. Link download. Yeah, that's the one I want. So that's 64-bit. Uh, if you down if you down arrow again, you're going to go to 32-bit, and you're going to go to links and all the other folder all. If you need to see exactly what you need, I highly suggest hitting T for table, and then down arrow through all your headings first, so you know which column to hit because there's five columns here. Anyway, at this point. I've already downloaded it. You hit Mozilla Firefox web browser and dash download Firefox extension. And go ahead and download that. So, uh, and then just follow the directions on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to Control One. Read colon Firefox update causing issues in Gmail dash Denise Robert Gmail plan table column one row five. Back to home. Uh, control Home. Read colon Firefox update now, causing issues in Gmail dash Denise Robert. That's only one little aspect you need to do an insert six to your jaws firefox dash jaws setting center dialog so you will be making uh similar adjustments in edge uh so let's go ahead and go down to your web pages preview web slash HT, web slash htm one read and closed one of seven web okay. slash htm now it depends on how much verbosity you need i actually discovered that i needed to change my web verbosity level to high in edge uh, because when I hit X, it would not actually read all my um, all my text, which bothered me because I want to hear everything. Let's go ahead and go down to navigation. Navigation closed. Now this is a big one right here. You're going to hit F6. Go over to your smart navigation mode. Now I've always used this as off. I'm I like to take control of what my talking software is doing, so I've always used that as off. 
You need to make sure that it is simple layout. So when you tab to document presentation mode, make sure it's simple layout. Now in Edge, it automatically pops to screen layout. Uh, it doesn't work as well, at least it didn't for me. Now as you know, the browsers update, that may change. But simple layout just uh, works better. I can fly around pretty consistently on that. Um, now, if you have not done so, go, uh, Images. go ahead and go down to your miscellaneous. Take miscellaneous closed. And uh, now you need to go ahead and F6, and you need to enable Microsoft Edge browser support on this. Mine's already uh, checked on that, so you do need to enable that. So I'm going to hit Escape. So that's for Firefox, and then you're going Escape. to go inbox ahead left and go to Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edge. Windows 1, inbox left fair in 124 right there. Okay, and I'm just going to hit my X. Unread, Rebecca Sheffield, left bracket, air, red right bracket, today's the day, take action for students with blank. Now. Unread, Rebecca Sheffield, left bracket, air, red right bracket, today's the day, take action for students okay. with vision loss, nine. And uh, you can go ahead and down arrow. Blank, Rebecca Sheffield. See, and it, in, it allows you to take better control. Once again, uh, arrow keys move you one pixel at a time. If you're a fast listener, that's great. Hit X, move through, but for my beginner students, it just moves too quickly. And so I have them down arrow. Link left bracket, air, right bracket, today's the day. Take action for students with vision loss. Dash view this email in your browser. So at that point, you just enter. enter. Left bracket, air, right bracket, today's the day. Take action for students with vision loss. And then just down arrow. Graphic not important. Inbox button. Blank. Link graphic Gmail couldn't verify that app.net actually sent this message. So then all I have to do is just down arrow. And this is true in Firefox also. You enter and open, just down arrow. It pops you right to your main region area. Okay, I hope that helps.